particularly the forward line, how that's going to look? Well, yeah, we have to obviously um, shuffle the magnets around a little bit. Um, we've taken a couple extras over, uh, especially some young guys that haven't experienced the trip coming over. But uh, Ronan O'Connor's definitely going to play, um, which might sh uh, shuffle a few guys up forward with uh, Lockie Murphy and Ned Henry um, missing out through injury. Who are those midfielders you think are the best suited to, to fill that role? Like? Um, well, we saw Paul Seedsman play it um, in the last half and, and still found the ball and uh, helped us with our forward 50 entries. And, and obviously Rory Sloan getting forward with, can give us a contest as well. So, yeah, I'd like to see those guys uh, shuffle forward at times. Is that Billy going to play? Billy Frampton, yeah, he's coming along. Yep, he, he's going to look to give us a contest ahead of the ball. Um, obviously, they're quite strong aerial down back. Um, they might have a couple of good players coming in as well, so yeah, look, look for him to help us uh, help us up in the forward line. It probably doesn't get much tougher like going <laughs> over to Perth, taking yep. on the West Coast, full crowd. What, yep. what's, what's the message to the group going over and so many young guys? Well? I, I think it's just another opportunity for, for the young group. Um, we, we do like getting away with, with such a young group, especially for a couple of nights um, as a group and playing, playing West Coast. At Optus is a, yeah is a, is a hard task, but um, yeah no we're looking forward to having a, a really good midfield battle um, with a few of the good players around the ball, and hopefully we can compete like we did for a majority of the game last week. But we've got to do it for four quarters, obviously. If, um, if Darcy Fogarty is up for it, what do you need to see from him? Yeah, Darcy's got to give us that contest. Look, he he's he can be strong in the air, but he's also pretty good at ground level. Um, He's got that speed up on the lead, but he also can get behind behind his opponent. So if we move the ball a little bit better and give um, Darcy some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, I think he can definitely help. How do you stop that West Coast, particularly at home, that chip mark the sort of game that they want to play, particularly given that forward 50 entry has been a bit of a problem last few weeks for you guys? Yeah, well, obviously it starts with with our forward line and how we can how we can prevent that. We've been okay at that um, with teams off half back, but they're definitely going to test us with the way they find that release mark and, and they can switch the ball. So it'll be big focus on our forwards, mids to, to stop those marks and, and, and yeah, control the ball ourselves a bit more. Matt Brown and O'Connor, what can you tell us about? Yeah, I've just been super consistent in the sample. I've loved watching him. His last three or four weeks have been, been super round stoppages um, and he's just improved every week. So it's just great to have another debutant to the club and, and hopefully he can, uh, yeah, he can have a good game. Same for it is an intimidating trip, but he's a yep. WA boy, so that suits him. That's right, yeah. So him and Billy, Billy's WA boy, so we've got a couple of WA boys um, in the team. So, yeah, no, it'll be good to see how they go.